Hello, everyone. Welcome to Divine Conversations. Well, welcome back to Divine Conversations. Thank you guys so very much for tuning in. So what I have got for the collective right now is a bit of a um, kind of a bonus reading. It's not uh, it's a collective love reading. Now, today is Friday. Um, and I, the only reason I mentioned that at least the day that I'm recording this reading is a Friday. And the only reason I mentioned that is because Friday is Venus day. Venus, as many of us know, as I guess almost all of us know, Venus is the planet of love, romance, and, um, possessions and values, money, um, all things fun and exciting, I guess you could say, or all things that feel good, you know. Venus is the is the planet of basically the planet of love and um and all that kind of stuff, right? And so okay, Friday is a perfect day to channel the message or channel the energies of Venus um to get the collective a message, but it wasn't my intention to do that. What drove what what's driving me to do this, what's what's influencing me to do this is my connection with the collective. Um, and the fact that I woke up this morning with a certain song in my head, um, and uh, it's definitely a love song, um, and it's not a song that's relevant to my life personally. Um, I am happily single <laughs> right now, um, and I'm actually, I'm, I'm loving it. Um, so it's not a song that's relevant to my life, so that's what caused me to stop and question it for a second and, and really pull up what's going on here, and I believe it's a song that is representative of a message that the, that um, the universe has for the collective right now. So this song that um, that I channeled this morning or that I woke up with in my head this morning is by Total, a group named Total, T-O-T-A-L. They are an R&B group from the mid-90s. Um, all my R&B kids, all my 90s kids, y'all probably know that, know that group. Also, you probably know this song, but I believe it's called Sitting at Home. It, uh, the hook goes, sitting home waiting for you, cause staring at these walls is all I do. I try my best to be good to you, but you're never around when I'm in the mood. It's a great song. I love it. It's actually, it's one of my favorite songs as growing up as a kid. Um, it's the song that put me onto that group that got me into that group. I love Total. I love them. They're fantastic. But if you've never heard that song or if you've never heard of that group, check it out. Um, I'm, I'm silly and I didn't confirm the, the name of the song before I started recording, but that's okay. I'll put a link to the song in the description box below for those of you that want to hear it. Now, as I was, um, before I started my day... Let's get, let me just start shuffling here. Uh, before I started my day, I did sit down to meditate, to collect myself, get connected, blah, 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 we'll do and all that bullshit, right? Um, and as I was feeling through this energy, we are going to get a specific message from whatever this channel energy is. But this feels very similar to um, the message from the SIP for today, actually. Um, and it's uh, it, the... the the title of that version uh, of that episode of the SIP, which is a daily reading that I that I do here on my YouTube channel. If you're new here, by the way, hi, my name is Eric. It's wonderful to meet you. Um, and if you don't know, I recently brought daily readings back to YouTube um, in the form of a series called The SIP. Your daily sip of just the right popping piping hot tea and popping tea right okay great all right anyway um a certain episode of the sip is titled this uh this feminine is better off single and this masculine deserves so much more and it's an energy of i was i was collecting i was channeling the energies <laughs> i was channeling the energies of a certain uh, masculine individual. I, at this point, I want to. I did just hear divine masculine, so I'm going to say that. I didn't say that in in this in the channeling for the sip. Um, that actually never came to mind. But if that resonates for you, either if you are uh, in the divine masculine, divine feminine camp, if you're part of the twin flame journey and you have a twin flame counterpart in the form of a divine masculine that is dealing with someone that really truly does not love him. 
um, or you are this divine masculine or you resonate with that. It doesn't matter. You don't have to resonate with that for this to be relevant to you. But I, that is what I just heard. So I'm going to go with that. But take it as it resonates, guys. This is a big old general reading. It's also a timeless reading. But anyway, um, this masculine was showing up as a king of cups. And he was showing up as a very devoted husband, father, house husband type of energy. But he was aligned with or he's connected to or he's in a relationship with a queen of wands who and that's not bad. But in this specific situation, this queen of wands doesn't barely gives him the time of day. All right. And, and that's where the title of this feminine, the queen of wands is better off single because it really just feels like this feminine energy is just using this masculine for a warm body. You know what I mean? And just really really just likes the attention that they get from this King of Cups, who is actively uh, also actively trying to show up as a King of Wands to be a counterpart or to be a match to this Queen of Wands, but he's not naturally this King of Wands. He is a King of Cups. <laughs> and to be honest with you, part of me was kind of like, yo, man, like there are so many feminines out here in the world that are looking at you like, yo, stop trying to be that king of wands and be the king of cups you naturally are. Like, homeboy, we out here looking for you, man. Like, where, where are all them king of cups at? You know what I'm saying? So that was kind of funny. But anyway, um, that's what this energy feels like, okay? And so this song... I believe it's called Sitting at Home. I'm sorry, guys. I'm so, I'm so silly. I did not confirm the name of the song. But anyway, the link, the link to the song is in the description box below if you want to hear it. But this song, the lyrics to this song, the feelings to this song, the, it feels very similar to that episode of The Sip. So I will also link um, the episode of The Sip to in the description box below, also in the top right of your screen. So that you can watch it if you haven't already watched it. It is not my intention to piggyback off of that, off of that reading. This is a separate collective love reading that is influenced by me waking up with this song in my head. But I do want to make that correlation because it does feel similar, okay? But you don't have to necessarily, I already feel like you don't have to be a, a masculine energy that resonates with that situation in order to resonate with this situation this could be a whole separate other situation that we could be talking about a feminine okay that's feeling this way all right because the artists in that song that group that is a that is a girl group total is a girl group it's three women okay so all right let's get two more shuffles here and then we're going to get into this collective love reading what are the what is the message for the collective in terms of love at this time um, and many of you are already aware or already know that I have a second channel that is actually a love channel, but um, it felt, I, I didn't want to post this there. I want to post this here on Divine Conversations. Um, I'm not sure what's going to happen with Mystic Unicorn, to be honest. Um, it feels kind of redundant to have, at this point, it feels kind of redundant to have two channels, but don't quote me on that. Um, to have a separate, like Divine Conversations and then have a separate love channel. I don't know. I, I don't know what's going to happen with that. But you're welcome to check it out. If you haven't checked out Mystic Unicorn, check it out. There are a ton of messages on Mystic Unicorn right now. I did, I did so much work. I, I channeled so many messages, did so many readings. There are so many readings all over on Mystic Unicorn, and they are all timeless. So go check out that channel. If you want to get some extra love messages, go check it out. And... Um, just pay attention to the titles and the signs and see what resonates for you. All right, let's get into this love reading spirit. So what's going on in the collective? What's this collective message? Sitting at home, waiting for you. The sun is the first card out. Whoa. All right. Sitting at home, waiting for you. But you know what? With this sun here, though, I feel like someone is starting to realize. Someone is starting to um, recognize what's really going on here. And that's why these lyrics, sitting at home, waiting for you, because staring at these walls is all I do. I try my best to be good to you, but you're never never around when I'm in the mood. It, it's like someone is starting to figure out that the relationship that they're in is not what it seems to be, is not all that it's cracked up to be. Someone is starting to wake up to the reality of this relationship or situation, okay? Seven of Wands is the next card. One last card, please, Spirit. Oh, shit. Look at that. King of Wands. There's that King of Wands. Eight of Cups. King of Swords. All right, one last card. One last card here, please, Spirit, for this collective reading. 
One last card just to finish out this spread and temperance. All right. Oh, honey. And then justice is at the bottom of the deck here. You're going to you're going to focus. There we go. No, I'm going to need you to stay focused. There we go. Justice. Justice is at the bottom of the deck. So this very well could be a continuation of the reading from or the energies from the sip because we have the masculine here. We have this king of wands. We also have the king of swords. Now it doesn't have to be, it doesn't have to be just strictly masculine. Um, Cause I, cause in this situation, I am seeing a feminine energy being the center of this situation, either a feminine energy or a woman. So number one, this could be piggy, piggybacking off of the sip the episode of The Sip in which it is titled, This Feminine is Better Off Single, This Masculine Deserves So Much More. Number two, this also could be a woman or a feminine individual, an individual that is more, uh, usually more, more on their feminine side or at least plays more of a feminine role in relationships, whether you're a man or a woman, it doesn't matter. Um, but in this situation, in this circumstance, you are taking on more of a masculine role or your masculine side is coming forward here in two ways. One, it could be one of the other way, one or either of these ways, or it could be a combination of both. First way is your masculine side is coming forward because you are trying to make an effort to keep this relationship going and or your masculine side is also now coming forward saying to you to protect you, coming to you with a logical point of view here, the King of Swords saying something has to give. Your masculine side, I feel like, is coming forward anyway because of a certain action that needs to be taken or is about to be taken, okay? So let me recap. You are either the masculine individual in this relationship. You are either a man or or a woman that is more masculine dominant or plays the masculine role in this relationship, or you are the feminine in this relationship, either a woman or a man that is more normally aligned with their feminine side, plays a more feminine role in a relationship or in this relationship, but your masculine side is coming forward here in order to take action, whether that action be to keep this relationship going and or it could now be Okay, so you may have been taking on a masculine role to keep this relationship going out of a certain level of desperation, King of Wands. But now, as you're waking up here, the sun, you are now taking a more logical approach in order to take action to protect yourself. That was a lot. Okay. But what's going on here? First, what, uh, okay. First, what's going on here is we have the sun to the seven of wands to the king of wands. Someone is waking up to the reality of how they've been trying to protect this relationship, how they have been trying to defend this relationship. What I'm getting with the sun to the seven of wands to the king of wands, really what I'm getting to the, with the seven of wands to the king of wands is that someone may have been vehemently maybe in some cases even blindly defending this relationship or defending this circumstance or situationship that they have with another individual. And the type of defense that I'm getting here, whether this is figure, just figurative or whether this is actual, actually literal, like this is, how, this is actually how it's been going down. Keep in mind, guys, this is a general reading, so take it as it resonates. But what I'm seeing here in the form of this defense of this situationship or relationship uh, is somebody's friends coming forward and saying, sis or bro, like, I don't think this is good for you. Something isn't right here. I don't like this person. I don't like the way he or she is treating you. I don't like the, like, not that, and okay, not that it's really any of my business because you know it's not my relationship, but like you my bro, you my sis, you my homie, like, like we're friends, we're family. I, and I'm only saying this because I'm trying to look out for you and I'm on the outside looking in and something about this is not right. But with this King of Wands to the Seven of Wands here, this individual that has been in the relationship is like putting up all kinds of walls and barriers, talking about, I don't want to hear that. You don't know us. This relationship is better than you think. I love him. I love her. This, that, and blah, blah, blah. They love whoop-de-whoop, -whoop, blah, blah, blah. They love me. All this bullshit, right? 
when in reality it's bullshit because even as I'm saying that I'm hearing those lyrics sitting home waiting for you cause staring at these walls is all I do like you're out here defending a relationship to the world to the people around you saving face and then you go home and you're up there all by yourself homeboy homegirl ain't there Thus, next, we have the Eight of Cups to the King of Swords, to Temperance, okay? There is a level of clarity coming through here. Um, what I want to say about this is I feel like the universe is starting to break through this person's psyche or this person's mindset. There is a desire for balance, okay? Someone may be silent. I keep hitting the camera sorry guys someone may be silently coming to terms with the true reality of this situation um and i say silently specifically because i don't feel like this person is really opening up to anyone about this right now and that's mainly because of the fact that they have been defending this relationship so vehemently and for so long and quite frankly, you don't need to have a discussion with anybody else about this. You really don't. This is private. This is between you and yourself. This is between you and God. This is between you and the universe. Okay? You really don't have to have this conversation with anyone else other than this significant other or other than this individual that you're in this relationship with. But quite frankly, I'm not sure you're going to be able to really have that much of a conversation with them. I don't know. Maybe that's just conjecture. There's a need for balance that's coming into play here. And that's why someone is starting to wake up to the fact that they need to walk away from this situation. Clarity is coming online. There could have actually been... Damn. Okay, look. There actually could have been um, a situation in which... Because uh, I'm looking at the sun here. There could have been a situation in which something actually happened. This person did something, said something, made some sort of move in their nonchalance, in their callousness, okay, to make this person, whomever this King of Wands, King of Swords is, to make this person become starkly aware of just what exactly they are defending. And it's not a good thing. And I say callousness specifically because I feel like the person that you or this person is involved with, technically it would be the Queen of Wands here. Whomever it is you are involved with or they are involved with is so wrapped up in their own life, in their own situation, they either have recently done something and they've slipped and let their true feelings or the way they really see this relationship be known or be shown somehow. Or this person constantly does this. Either way, whomever this King of Wands is, King of Wands, King of Swords is here, they're, become, they're waking up to that. I feel like this was a sudden realization. And no, we don't have the tower here. But we have the sun and I'm getting a very sudden realization from the sun. And I'm here, I literally just heard, how could I have been so stupid? How could I have been so blind? How could I have been so naive? And it's not like this person is walking away right away, okay? This person is taking time to think about it. This person is taking time to observe. I feel like there's also an energy now of with this King of Swords, Eight of Cups, this person feels like they, they, they honestly feel like or they're honestly accepting the fact that they need to walk away or potentially walk away from this situation. But now this person has gone from the King of Wands to the King of Swords in an investigative way. Now this person is trying to figure out exactly what's going on here. Now this person is trying to get more evidence. 
in some cases, this person may be trying to catch this other the, this Queen of Wands in a lie somehow. I do feel like in, in to certain levels, to a certain extent, this individual has become fairly vindictive. That kind of makes sense. Especially if 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 this is if this is piggybacking off of what the sip was for early, for today, um, this person showed up uh, uh, or or technically truly is a king of cups, not a king of wands, but this person has been trying to act like a king of wands to keep that queen of wands, but for this person to go from the king of cups or a uh, loving compassionate and all that stuff to vindictive. It's very King of Cups energy. It's very Scorpio energy, <laughs> to be honest. But it makes sense for someone to go to, to switch to being emotionally manipulative or emotionally vindictive or vindictive or mean or spiteful because of their emotions. That makes sense for this type of energy. And I'm not trying to bash anyone. I'm not trying to say anyone's being childish or anything. It just feels like a natural progression. Someone who is naturally emotionally available, emotionally aware, or naturally more on that more um, emotional side, whatnot, whatever, to go from that sort of energy, once they get hurt, once they realize they've been hurt or they've been used to flip to being emotionally vindictive, it just makes sense. It just makes sense for the King of Cups energy. It just makes sense. Okay. I'm not saying that's good or bad. I'm just saying it makes sense. Okay. Um, I'm being asked to pull on what is next here. All right. So what's next for this situation, please, Spirit? Six of Wands. Two of Swords. What's next? Eight of Pentacles. Oh, shit. Spirit says that's enough. Overall energy is the Seven of Swords. Oh, boy. You know what I just heard? You think you can snoop around? Well, I can snoop around, too. But I don't feel like whomever is... I don't feel like this person is trying to cheat. I feel like this person is trying to figure some shit out. Somebody's working towards something now. Whether this is you're working towards leaving this relationship or you're working towards figuring out what's... What's really going on here? Somebody, somebody is... is oh, shit. This is some vindictive-ass energy, man. I'm not even gonna lie. You have the Seven of Swords as the overall energy. which is snooping, which is trying to get away with something. You also have the Six of Wands here, which uh, technically is a victory, is being able to do a victory lap, but also this Six of Wands here represents keeping up, uh, saving face, pretending like everything is okay when it's not. Six of Wands to the two, I, I almost don't even wanna, I almost even don't wanna talk about this part of the situation. Because I'm not trying to blow up somebody's spot here. If you've got things to figure out, if you're if you're gonna be keep, look see like I, I almost this is this is this is the part of spilling the tea, you guys, that I really don't like. Because it feels like this person has every right to keep to themselves now and to work towards something to work towards something secretively. You have every right. To do so. There is an energy here of saving face. This person has found something out. But is not, is not letting on. Um, okay. I, I know. I, I, okay. Ooh. Yeah, see. Six of Cups is reversed. Yeah, this I, I really feel like somebody's working on letting go of this relationship. I want to clarify. Can you um clarify this Eight of Pentacles, please? What what is what are you what is this person working on? Well, there's the Six of Cups. Again. 
Let's clarify the Eight of Pentacles a little bit more, please. I feel like there's more to talk about with the Eight of Pentacles here. Knight of Swords. Either you or this person is going to be, yeah, is going to be working on severing this connection. You have the Eight of, I'm sorry, the Three of Swords at the bottom of the deck. This person is going to be working on severing this connection. Um, they may even be working on getting a space of their own. And I encourage you to do that. What I don't encourage you to do is be vindictive and use this Knight of Swords to cut this other person up. Keep that to yourself. All you really need to do, you guys, is work on doing what you need to do to sever this connection to get away from this individual because you deserve so much better. Okay? All right. I do want to... Um, I want to I want to get some clarity here. I want to start clarifying some things from the beginning of the reading. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this. I'm going to put all of this. I don't even know where to put this. I'm just I'll just leave it here. I'll just leave it here so that we can see it. Um, but there are a few things up here that I want to clarify. So we're going to do that. Um, let me get let me get five shuffles here. All right, help us with a little bit more clarity, please, Spirit. Just to clarify things for a deeper understanding of this situation, to serve the highest good of all involved, please, Spirit. Just some clarity. Maybe even a level of encouragement for this person to get themselves up out of this situation. All right? Clarity, please, Spirit. That's enough. That's enough of the shuffle. Okay. Um, the sun. I want to clarify the sun first. Clarify the sun, please. Clarify this clarity, this awareness, the wake up. Clarify the sun, please. Okay, so the energy that I'm getting from the sun right now as I'm looking at it is even though, even though this is a pretty shitty situation, you guys, there, yeah, see, oh my God. Even though this is a pretty shitty situation, the sun feels like a really beautiful energy because it feels like it's the clarity that someone needs to get moving, to get themselves out of this situation. Oh my God, look at this. To get themselves out of this situation. And right now the sun is clarified by the chariot, the world, and temperance. Okay, yes, this is a situation in which the sun has burned somebody. Because the sun, I, and I say this constantly, you, I'm sure you guys have heard me say this before. I do feel like, I, I may have even said this in that episode of The Sip. But I say this a lot. The sun represents truth, clarity, honesty, um, bright, happy, wonderful, joyfulness. Um, it also represents awareness, okay? The sun is a luminary. The sun illuminates things. So the sun can also oftentimes bring very strong clarity and a strong level of awareness into your reality or into your situation. And sometimes depending on the magnitude of that awareness that it's bringing into your life, it can burn. But when the sun burns you, this is one of the best burns you could get because now you are fully starkly aware of what needs to change and potentially even how to change it. Well, this may have really burned someone and it may really seem shitty at the be to begin with, okay, at the start of this awareness, but really it's not that shitty. Why? Because it helps you get into alignment, the chariot, to end this situation and bring in this balance, this temperance that is needed, that has been needed all along. Overall energy. Would you look at that? Is the two of cups. Mm -hmm. clarity, clarity, awareness of the relationship, the nature of the relationship that you have in front of you. I literally see someone packing their bags and getting the fuck up out of this house, this situation, this relationship. I want my shit back. I'm giving you your shit back. I'm done with this situation. There is no going back from this. This is a full on breakup. Next, I want to clarify the King of Wands. Clarify the King of Wands because what I'm getting with the King of Wands here. Let me move this out of the way so you guys can see better. I don't even know if that was obstructing anything. Was it? Let me look. Not really. Okay, we'll leave it there. Um, I want to clarify this King of Wands energy for you, for this individual. I want to see what this 
what this King of Wands energy really truly represented for you. What is this King of Wands? The Page of Wands. Clarify the King of Wands, please. The Eight of Wands. Yeah, I do want to move this. Page of Wands, Eight of Wands. Clarify the King of Wands, please. One, uh, one more card, please, for the King of Wands. And the Knight of Wands. Yikes! You guys, you guys, you can't make this stuff up. Overall energy, to clarify the King of Wands, overall energy at the bottom of the deck, there's the King of Cups. This guy. This guy. You are not the king of wands, bro, sis. You're not. You're the king of cups. You have been all along. And what I was and I was picking this up before we even got here. Wait, let me just make sure. I guess that's okay. Before we even got this far in clarifying the king of wands, okay? I was already feeling this and I was feeling it first with the page of wands. The Page of Wands is saying to me that you or this person was ready to change themselves at the drop of a hat in order to facilitate this relationship, in order to keep this relationship going. Page of Wands, Eight of Wands. This, and, and it's the Page of Wands specifically because... And this, and this is the deck that actually got me to believe, got me to think about this, the Page of Wands this way. But I see the Page of Wands as potential for a midlife crisis. Why? Because if you look at this, this guy here on this card, this is a grown ass man. Okay, beard and everything, right? But, and, and this is a page, and normally the pages are young adolescent individuals, grown ass man here, okay? But the Page of Wands is all about new creative opportunities, uh, 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 messages coming forward, um, and changing the way you identify, changing the way that you see yourself, changing the way that you approach the situation, changing your alignment, whatnot, whatever. This is saying here that this person would do anything would do anything just to keep this relationship going, just to keep this relationship open and flowing because this person was sprung as fuck, Knight of Wands. This person was literally, this King of Wands energy, this is you literally trying to change yourself in order to be available for this relationship in order for this relationship to continue going when really you're the king of cups all along. You guys. Last thing I want to clarify then is the king of swords. Clarify the king of swords, please, spirit. What does the king of swords have to say? What does he represent here? Damn, the Hierophant. Woo! Yikes. Anything else for the King of Swords, please? Two more cards. There we go, right there. The Magician and the Four of Swords. Overall energy is the Ace of Pentacles. I'm going to say this, you guys. Whomever is in this situation, you've learned a hell of a lot. <coughs> you really have. Now, um, what? okay, so the Hierophant here... The Hierophant represents, um, okay, I'm sorry, the King of Swords actually represents this person getting into a very logical place, a very fact, matter of fact, it is what it is, and rules-oriented place. These rules that are represented by the Hierophant are twofold. One... They are rules of engagement in terms of being with this individual. This person may be getting higher standards for themselves or are remembering the rules that they had put in place or remembering the structure that they had for themselves and the ways that they may have lost themselves in this situation and are getting reconnected with that and are looking to reinforce that. But also, this person feels like or this energy of the Hierophant feels like this person saying, uh, almost feeling like the person, their queen of wands, whomever it is they're dealing with here, was cheating on them. 
and saying, this is not how we have, or this is coming to, this person is coming to an awareness of, this is not how we have a solid relationship. This is not how we have a stable, committed relationship. In, and in saying that, this person here may be getting to stark awareness that, oh my God, maybe this isn't the committed relationship I thought it was. Nope. You would absolutely be right about that, buddy. Yeah. I, okay, the, the dominant thing that I feel for this King of Swords energy here is that this individual is starting to formulate the understanding of what it is they need to do, is starting to figure out or is working towards figuring out what it is they need to do. And the dominant thing that they're figuring out on or that they're working on figuring out is how do I go about manifesting the real true situation, commitment, loving relationship, whatnot, whatever that I want. The magician to the four of swords. And in that, there are certain rules, certain structures that need to be understood, that need to be accepted, that need to be in place. The hierophant is representing rules and regulations at this point or in this situation, is representing rules of engagement. And it's not like this king of swords energy, king of swords, king of cups energy is trying to or is necessarily going to try and hold the person that they're with to this certain requirement. No, the king of swords energy here is very much aware of the fact that this person that they're dealing with currently never is and never was going to agree to that or was ever going to hold to that. You've become very aware of that at this point. So now instead, these are this is an understanding of how you go about getting your next commitment or you making your next commitment to the next person and what the rules of engagement need to be, not only for them, but for yourself. You have learned a very valuable lesson here. This is either for a masculine individual or this is or this is on behalf of your masculine side. But you have learned a very valuable lesson here. And you are taking it with you and you are moving forward. And that is excellent. Closing message from the Tarot. And then we're going to close this reading out with Oracle guidance from something. Closing message from the Tarot, please, Spirit. What's your final closing message in terms of this relationship or this situation? The High Priestess. Counterpart to the Hierophant. Okay. High Priestess. That's enough right there. Um, let me do this. Sorry, King of Swords, I have to cover you up for now, but that's okay. High Priestess, Ace of Wands, Three of Swords, Ten of Swords. All right, so there's the Three of Swords again, okay? Um, but you also have that with the Ten of Swords here. So the High Priestess, the Ace of Wands, Three of Swords, and the Ten of Swords is saying to you, Allow the universe to guide you in terms of this new direction, this new inspiration that you have, because this new inspiration is leading you towards the end of this specific heartbreak with this in specific individual, okay, this specific relationship, or, and, and quite frankly, I feel like this would be a better way to look at it. This could potentially spell the end of this type of situation in your life altogether, this type of cycle and everything. It doesn't have to just stop at this one relationship with this one person. This could actually be or spell or facilitate the end of all kinds of situations, all kinds of cycles like this, whether you've been in multiple cycles like this or not, whether you've been in multiple situations like this or this, you find yourself in like a one-time situation like this. One time is just enough to learn the lesson potentially. And it feels like that could very well be what this is for you. Okay. Over. Y'all, oh my God. Here she is, the official queen to your king, the queen of cups. This situation, this circumstance, this cycle, this life drama is leading you to the proper counterpart, is leading you as the king of cups to your rightful queen of cups. There she is, right there. This absolutely feels like it, it could be piggybacking on today's sip. 
Doesn't have to be. Doesn't have to be. But, I mean, if you watched The Sip, then you know I mentioned that Queen of Cups in The Sip. I was like, you don't need this Queen of... I said something to the effect of, you don't need this Queen of Wands. You should be with a Queen of Cups. That is the true counterpart to your King of Cups. Not this Queen of Wands. Stop trying to be a King of Wands to a Queen of Wands when you're not even a King of Wands to begin with. You're a King of Cups. You deserve to be with a Queen of Cups. There she is. The Hierophant represents the requirements that you need. You understanding the requirements that are necessary for you to be in a relationship and you are manifesting it from that place. The Magician. The High Priestess here to the Ace of Wands is saying, follow your intuition, follow your gut, follow the universe, follow the synchronicities, follow your higher awareness, especially pay attention to the synchronicities, especially pay attention to the ways that the universe is leading you forward because it is leading you towards the end of this heartbreak. Ten of Swords, Three of Swords, okay? I love the way this has worked out. I really love the way that this has worked out. Closing Oracle Guidance is coming from Old Faithful, our best friend here on this channel. The Crystal Mandala Oracle, yeah? Excellent. Here we go. Closing Oracle Guidance. Spirit, five shuffles, that's one. That's two. Four. And five. All right, closing oracle guidance, please, spirit, spirit for this collective love reading. There it is right there. Ooh, card number 17, Angel Bath Cole and Aquamarine authentic voice yeah that makes sense why because you're a king of cups dude you're not a king of wands and you don't have to you don't have to be anything or anyone other than who you naturally are there are plenty of people in the world that will align with you just as you naturally are as you authentically are you don't have to change yourself for anyone else, ever. That was never the requirement. However, it is a lesson you have had to learn. For whatever reason, doesn't really matter. It's a valuable lesson and you're doing a great job. You're getting the point at this point, okay? You're learning, you're getting the lesson here and I'm very proud of you for it. Here we go, closing Oracle Guidance. We bring you the gift of authentic voice. We want you to know your own truths and to speak them in your own way because you have something of value to share. Your inner world, your unique viewpoint, and the person that you are. When you speak from your authentic voice, you help others relax, come out of their heads, into their hearts, and remember the truth of who they are as well. Your authentic voice doesn't have to sound like the voice of any other. It doesn't need to always be soft, although in its own way, it will always be loving. Your authentic voice has a place in this world and has been designed to be a valuable part of the sacred choir, sacred choir of soul voices which creates music for the universe. As you trust in your authentic voice, your ability to manifest your divine destiny will grow and your responsible use of the power of your voice will help many. Oh, yes. The King of Cups is reaching his Queen of Cups. And quite, and quite honestly, as I just said that last phrase, I fully came to the understanding of the fact that whomever this King of Cups is, you absolutely had to go through this lesson. Define it for yourself. But it definitely feels like you had to go through this situation in order for you to get, in order for you to understand the value of truly being authentic 
an authentic version of yourself and allowing yourself to be aligned with someone that aligns with that authentic version of you. You had to experience the contrast, period. That is life here. We learn in life, we experience, we expand, we grow in life through experiencing the contrast. That is also indicative of this chariot energy. How do you know which direction you need to or want to go in if you don't experience the opposite? How do you know what feels good to you if you don't experience what doesn't feel good to you? How do you know if you don't experience the contrast? And this is part of the chariot energy because you see you have those two sphinxes, the light and the dark, the good and the bad, the positive, the negative, the polarities. That's what contrast is, polarity. And it's through that polarity, the experience of that polarity, that we are able to use the compass of our emotions to drive us where we want to go. I love this. I'm so glad that I did this reading for us. I hope this was helpful for you. Thank you guys so much for tuning in. Thank you, God Source, Creator, Spirit, Universe, Ancestors, Way Showers, Guides, for bringing this message to me, for channeling this message to me. I'm so grateful to be able to deliver it to the message, to the collective. I love you guys. Thank you so much for tuning in. If you'd like to get a personal reading with me, I am available for that. Check the information in the description box below where you will find a list of the readings that I offer and their descriptions along with my email address. Shoot me an email letting me know that you're interested in a reading and I will be more than happy to get you all hooked up. Uh, with that said, Check us out on Patreon, patreon.com slash divine conversations. Now is actually a really perfect time to sign up or to, to, to subscribe to Patreon because it's the beginning of the month. Um, so uh, with your Patreon subscription, with certain tiers, you can either get a 10% discount or a 20% discount on your personal reeling, readings, or you could even join the regulars of which there are four spaces left. You, that's $55 a month, and with that, you get everything that is released on Patreon, including one personal reading with me for the month. Um, and uh, that actually is a really good deal because a 30-minute live session or a recorded freestyle reading costs $65 normally. But if you go through Patreon, you get you pay $10 less, you get one reading a month with me, and you get all of the readings that are released to Patreon at your disposal, okay? And that's for $10 less than a regular, normal 30-minute live reading or a freestyle recorded reading, okay? So check us out on Patreon. It's a great way to get extra content with me throughout the month. It's also a really excellent way to support the channel. Thank you so much to all my current patrons. Without you guys, I would not be able to be here. So kudos to you. I love you all so very much. Uh, follow me on Twitter and Instagram. The links to those can be found in the description box below as well. And as always, please make sure to like, share, comment, and subscribe if you haven't done so already. But with that said, I love you all so freaking much. I hope you have a fantastic day, and I look forward to connecting with you again for our next reading very, very soon. Yes? Happy Venus Day, happy Friday, or happy day to you whenever you're watching this. I love you. Bye.